about a topic. Let's learn about a topic about a mitzvah that we do every day. Some of us three times a day, and certain days four times a day. Talking, of course, about tefila. When the Gemara talks about tefila, we talk about tefila. It means it's the whole tefila. Well, when the Gemara talks about tefila, it's referring specifically to what Shmona Esrei tefila tashara. That's Shmona Esrei, and. We learned a few months back in our Tuesday year about woman and davening. But now let's talk a little bit about Shemona Esrei itself. I will start off with a really fun case. So let's say, let's say that we had Rosh Chodesh was Shabbos and Sunday, right? This week. So let's start off with the man, but it could apply to a woman as well. Sunday night's already post Rosh Chodesh. It's over. It's already now the second day, Thomas. So, and you, you saw the Davim Marv, and you see the Gabai, you see the Gabai take down the little sign that says Yala Viava. Because the sign was up for two days, it was up Shabbos and Sunday. And then you're thinking, where was I at? Bencha? It's in the shul. And did I say Alaviavo? Not a chance. Ah, but do Shmona Esther, he repeated Shmona Esther, he said the Alaviavo. Yeah, I was in the middle of my business in my head. Or thinking about this, about my trip to the beach. I was not at Mincha. My body was, but I was not there. And I did not, I know, I have no doubt at all, I did not say Yalaviava three hours ago at Mincha. And now it's no longer Rosh Chodesh. So it's a great case. Because it's not just a shayla. Okay, what's Allah? It requires lundus and it forces us to understand the structure of Shemona Esrei, Yala Viavo, how it works. Okay. But before we, I give over any information here from the Shulchan Arach, you tell me, what do you think the Allah would be in such a case? Now, Let's make sure we have one premise. Let's say the case is not that I daven at 6.30 Mincha and Ma'or, but I didn't see Alav Yavo. I missed Mincha totally. I totally missed Mincha. So what's Allah at night when I realize, oh my gosh, I, I usually go to the 1.30, but it's just that I couldn't make it to 1.30 Mincha. I was going to go to 6.30 and Ma'or. I'm a bubal. I just totally forgot. So I need to do tshuva. But what else do I do at night? Twice. And what is that called? When you when you call Tishma <laughs> Tash Tash Lumen. Very good. Shleshalem. Tash Lumen. Make up what we missed. So the Lacha is that the rabbi did us a big favor that if you missed the tefillah, they let you make it up. If you missed Alamech, you can't make it up. You missed Tfilin during the day, you can't make it up the next day. You missed it. If you remember, while it's still daytime now, four, five, six, seven in the afternoon, do it then. But if the day is over, it's over. Most mitzvos, Avazmano, the time is over. You can't make it up, right? But Chazal did us a favor by Tfilosh Man Esrei. You can't Shema. You can't make up. If the time is over, it's over. You can't. You can say the psukim. You're not doing the mitzvah Shema. You're reading psukim Nachmat, but it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might have to do Shema later because you're just doing the right Zman if you made it all the Shabbos. But you can't make up. Normally, you don't make up mitzvahs. When the time is over, it's over. Okay? And we usually apply the word, it's too late, baby. Now, it's too late. It's over. Okay? Can't make it up. We blew it. So you can't. But they gave us a present over here. They gave us a present. And that's called Tashlum. Very nice. So now, with that in mind, that premise is something called Tashlumen. So this question forces us to think about Tfila. So it's 6.30 was Minchan Mor. Or wherever you daven. Now it's 9 o'clock. You see the Chazen, you see the Gabai taking down the sign. And that it's no longer Rosh Chodesh. And it was three hours ago. And remember, I, I definitely did not see it. No chin. I'm no suffix. I know I did not. There's no doubt. So what's the halacha? What would be the svar this way? What's the rationale that way? What do you think? 
What? I should. Now, but don't forget, when I do it a second time, I would say Yala Viavo. Because I cannot say Yom Rosh Chodesh Hazer when it's already the second day of Tammuz. It's not Rosh Chodesh. I can't lie. So I can't say that. So you'll say, okay, do Tashlumin without Yala Viavo. Yeah. Wow. That's a good question. We do have an interesting halacha. If let's say Sunday, let's say Shabbos, classic case that happens very often. Shabbos, you shall should us. And you're singing the beautiful songs. You did Nefesh. And it's into the night already. You're with the Hasidah Sherebi, a tish, or whatever. It goes late hours later, right? I was in May Shabbos a couple of years ago with my boys. We went from here, made up the land, went to Meisharim or Gula. I remember where. About three miles, Zilberg is right near the. Uh, who was the Rebbe taught a couple of years ago? They ripped out his beard during the Holocaust. They had a Rishus Yom. You know who I'm talking about, right? He was very big on Shema Israel. Oh man, if, it, if you remember, so it was right near him, and we went. To be with another, I was me and my Zilberg was going for hours after Shabbos. We left here, we still got there, they're still going strong to join in, right? And when they bench 10, 11 at night, do they say, would say, yes. So they did, what? Because the meal keeps going. It's a Shabbos meal that kept going. But we're even, as long as they didn't do Abdullah and they didn't say, Davin Marib, they can keep going. Fine. So you're right. There is a concept of, of saying Yalvi Yom Shabbos, and we'd say even after. You're right, but over here where you didn't continue a meal from that time, you're just davening. So could you? Should you daven twice? And what would be the smart to say yes? So let's hear or no. Yeah. Good. Wow. That's why. Wow. That's great. That's great. Uh, so, Could you please repeat no, that? No, so saying you made. Shabbos, but you brought Rosh Chodesh in. How does that work? Great. And you already said Yalav Yav in Marv. Yeah, I know, but there's a mitzvah toast. Just to, we, we, we have to go in there. I don't know if we're going to reach it today. We have to discuss this. Because you can accept Shabbos early. It's a mitzvah tosef for Shabbos to add Shabbos. It's a mitzvah to add in Rosh Chodesh. What's going on? It's a very good question. We have to discuss it. So let's just see if we can do this one. It, what? What was the question? The question is on Friday, which led into Rosh Chodesh, if someone accepted Shabbos early. So you accept Shabbos early, so you say Ritze in benching, but how do you say Yalaviyavo? You brought Rosh Chodesh early? You could bring Shabbos early. You could bring Rosh Chodesh. How does that work? And then if you eat into the night, so it is Rosh Chodesh, so so. If you finish and you bench early, so you brought Kedusha Shabbos in. How do you bring Rosh Chodesh in? Rosh Chodesh, we think, is just goes by the stars. Yeah, great question. Great question. Thank you. So let's just stay with this one here. Then we'll see if we can deal with this. We should have a separate sheet. Dafka on the top is a very good case. So you're saying I should daven twice. Why? But I daven at 6.30. Still, you're saying to Davin again, Tashlum, and why? Why? What would be the svar? I know I miss Yalav Yava. I know I, I Davin, I remember being at Dominion, and then I remember after Kedusha soaring into space somewhere. And I didn't hear him say Yalav Yavo at Hazar Shatz. It didn't hit me in any shape or form. And I know. 
I totally forgot it was Rosh Chodesh. I know for a fact. What? Yes, that's it. Little timer machine, right? So now it's it Sunday night. It's after Rosh Chodesh. So what would be the svar to say I should daven again? What would be the svar to say not? Let's hear. Yeah. What? Oh, I miss Yala V'yavo. I missed Yala V'yavo, you say. Yeah. But I daven Shon Esrei. But what did I miss? Think think clearly what you're saying because you're both hitting on the point. What did I miss? Factually, I miss Yala V'yavo. Halachically, what did I miss? Halachically. I mean, what? Good. So I missed it, but it's too late. Too chuva, and I have harata that I didn't have enough kavana. Put a mark in my sitter next rosh chodesh that mark off yalav so I don't forget it. Do chuva. Chuva means harata lava. I feel bad for what I did. Kabbalah al hasid, and I have kabbalah to be more careful in the future. But I dive in, as you're saying. I just miss yalav yavo. Do you both agree with that line? I davish one esrei, I davish mincha, but I miss yalav yavo. If you both agree with that line, then it would seem a bit strange that I would do what? Daven again. What's it to do? I can't make up yalav yavo, and I davened already. But maybe your intuition is what? That what's the premise that we're saying? I daven mincha. I fulfilled Mincha. I just missed out on Yala Viyavva. Maybe there's another way to look at it. Is that what? I didn't do Mincha. Today's Mincha. What if I daven to an Esrei and I'm in such a rush, I, I'm the Bubal and I actually skip one bracha to another and I just skip the section. I missed the bracha. I missed the whole bracha. I just skipped Hashim I missed the bracha. I don't know how it happened. But somehow it worked out. The two pages were stuck together and I just wasn't concentrating. And I, oh my gosh, I skipped and I finished like 10 minutes before I ran out. It's like, what's going on? Then I see the pages are stuck together. I don't know what's going by heart. And there's no doubt I missed three brachos, right? So then I didn't have it. I didn't have a mincha, right? So you're saying when you miss one of the 19 brachos, it's as if you didn't have a mincha. And if today you're supposed to add in what? You miss an integral part of Shmona Esrei. You hear? You miss an integral part of Shmona Esrei. So those are the two svarids. Shmona Esrei without Yala V'yavo, is that considered Shmona Mincha, but you miss Yala V'yavo? Or is it considered that you didn't daven Mincha? You miss your Mincha today. You hear the two sides. Yes. In the first half of what you said is true. You don't go back for Mariv. But let me just throw a wrench at what you're saying. What if it's Cholomoe? And I remember in the morning that last night Cholomoe took us, I did not say Yala Vayavo. I don't make it up. It marvels Roshos. We don't say. Oh, it's Allah in Rosh Chodesh, not Allah in Mar. On Rosh Chodesh, the Basin didn't sit at night and they didn't declare Rosh Chodesh at night. So it's not Allah that Marv is Roshos. So when I mess up a Marv, I don't have to go back. It's not true. If I specifically neglect Yalav Yavo on Rosh Chodesh Marv, then and only then I off the hook. But a typical mom, if I mess something up, I messed up and I have to make it up. Do you hear? So now we have a very logical question. We have a very logical question. I will go ahead and I said, Shmona Esrei without Yalav Yavo. Is it I dav in Mincha, but never I miss Yalav Yavo, do tshuva? Or no, I didn't have a Mincha today. And if I need to make it up, those are two logical signs. And guess what? There's an amazing commentary in the Gemara called Rabbeinu Yonah, 
He has a famous work called Share Chuva about Chuva. It's a classic work of his. And he has a commentary on Gemar Brachos. And guess what he says? He brings down both opinions. And he says these are two logical sides. There's a logic to say, like Tosfos, mm-hmm. that you daven, you just missed the elevator. Everyone, there's nothing to do about it now. And there's a logic to say, like the Chochmei Provence, I said, what? That when you didn't say Yalaviyavu, you missed Mincha. You hear? So that's from Enu Yona in the uh, 1200. Now, that's nice lumbus. It's nice analysis. It's what we call Talmudic analysis. We get the Svara this way and the Svara that way. But now you want to know, okay, you want to go from the lumbus analysis stage to what? Halacha, how do we paskin? It's not a far-fetched case at all. How do we paskin? When you miss Yalav Yavah, what happened there? The Shuranar goes ahead and he says the following. This is in Kuf Ches. Tzaba Mincha Shoshab Shpala Yud Ches. He brings in our case together with other cases. Yudave Mincha on Shabbos. And you said a regular Shmon Esrei. You totally forgot. Didn't say anything about Shabbos. That's our case. He groups it together, but we're not going to focus on the first case. You dive in a regular Shmon Esrei, Mincha. And then you realize that night, you missed Yalav Yavu three hours earlier. Okay, so he says, what do you do? He introduces a new concept, which we don't have a lot of time to properly elaborate, but let's at least get a taste for it. What he's saying is that, and he says, Machlokas, he says, Machlokas in this case, this really, they ain't a lasso, that cry his you just forgot the addition. Are you David? Exactly like you guys are saying. Or what good is it to David again? You David already and not make it of the other. Or Or may prevent you to below Shabbos, Kilo Spalo Klal, Kamishlasakidin. You didn't do right. So therefore, one didn't dive on Esther with the You didn't David. You didn't David a Mincha. He brings both sides down. And what's his advice? Yasas Babatar Snadava. You dive in again and you make a tonight. You say, at Sunday night, I'm diving a second time. If we go like the Chachme prevents that I didn't dive in Mincha today, so now I'm diving what? Tashlumen. But if we go like Tosas that I dive in, well, this would be Brachal of Atala, Chas Shalom. 19 blessings in vain. So then I want to declare this as a what? Nidava. What's a Nidava? An extra free will offering in the Mikdash or a free will tefillah. So normally, there's a lot of stuff in. I'm sorry I'd have to compact it into just a couple of minutes to wrap things up. But there's a normally. So what do you have here is a suffix brachos of Hashadav and Shmon Esri again at night. That's a machlot. Normally, when you have a suffix, a doubt about brachos, what do we say when you have a doubt about brachos? Yeah. Leave it out. When in doubt, leave it out. It's a cute little English expression. When in doubt, I had a cup of water. I don't know that I say brin of I had an apple. I don't know say brin of I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, anytime I make a bracha, I don't remember. I said, I'll make you after the kick. I don't remember. So just be more careful next time. Make a siman, a reminder yourself. Maybe the second you finish eating, whatever you do, do tshuva and make sure it doesn't happen again. But for now, safek, brachos, lahakil. When in doubt, leave it out. Rosh Chodesh, ala mechia. See, you don't go back for that. You wouldn't go back because you are yotze the bracha there. Okay, so now there is an exception to Suffolk Brachos. What's the su- exception to Suffolk Brachos? This the exception is Shmona Esra. You'll say, what do you mean? That's 19 Brachos. I better be careful about God's name. If even one Bracham careful about God's name, not to repeat, 
for sure 90 brachas are going to be careful not to repeat, right? So why over here? Because you have a concept called Nidava. Right now, Chas V'Shalom, we hear terrible news. And unfortunately, we're hearing terrible news every day. You hear terrible news and you hear the Chaylim are in trouble, they're stuck and hurt in Gaza, whatever. Our holy, holy warriors. And you say, you know what? I'm not, I'm not just going to say tell them now for them. I'm going to dash on Esrei. And then Rafa'inu, I'm going to add in their names. The seven boys, the husband just got injured. I'm going to have a separate one essay just for them. According to the din, I'm allowed to do that. It's called Nidava. And after that, we don't do that anymore. Because Shukhanah says, you don't even have Kavana for Shachar, Smith, and Marv. Now you're going to add more Shwan Esrei's in. Just work on the three tools that you have. So we don't normally do it. But let's say I'm stuck. And it could be I should daven again now, but some say not. So then we'll use Nidava to get out of the suffix. And we'll make it tonight, Sunday night, after Rosh Hodesh is over. We'll say, listen, I messed up three hours ago. I'm going to be more careful for now when I do true. I want to daven again, but I, not everyone agrees I have to daven again. So I'll go ahead. I'll make it tonight. Where I say that if I davened already, this is just a Nidava which we don't normally do, but in a pressing situation, we could do it. And if I didn't dive in, then this is considered what? So let's just go over what we learned now. We learned a lot of new things. We learned about the concept of the and the Chazal were very generous. Normally when you miss a mitzvah, it's too late, you can't make it up. But over here, they let you do it. Just like Pesach Sheini, they let you make up, the let's just make up Pesach Sheini. There are exceptions that you can make up mitzvahs, fine. So every day, a person in they can make it up in the next time zone, to daven Shmon Esrei twice. Now the question is, when I really missed it totally, that's for sure. What if I daven, but I didn't say Yalav Yavo? How do I look at it? As if I daven, but I just missed Yalav Yavo, there's nothing I can do about it, except for Chukra. Or no, I Yalav Yavo was integral to Shmon Esrei today, as if I didn't daven. So it's a machlokis in the Rishonim, 800 years ago, and 500 years ago, Shukra said, I don't know who the past can buy. I can't decide on this one. It's not like, most cheaters go this way or that way. Or con- I'm convinced. I'm not convinced. Therefore, I'm just leaving it out there as two opinions. But instead of me telling you Suffolk Brachos, when in doubt, just leave it out and do tshuva, I have advice. And that advice is to rely on this concept called nidava. And you say to yourself, if I have to daven again, this is tashlumen. And if I don't have to daven again, it's not brachalavatala. It is a nidava, an extra tefillah that I'm allowed to do, even though I don't normally do it, but to get out of the corner to get out of the pickle that I'm in right now, I can rely on the concept called the double. So we learned a lot of new concepts of Shvan Esrei, how it's set up, the structure of Shvan Does Yalav Yom become an integral part of Shvan Now we learned about the Shlomo, we about the Dava. I hope that everything we learned is just Lamdus and not Lamais, if anyone. Because we'll always be careful about getting everything right the first time. But it is very good to know. Both Lamdus is good to know and Allah Lamais is good to know. Yes. Yeah. No. So the tashlumen is purely Allah in Shwan Esra. You miss one Esra, you make up. Nothing to do with any other parts. Not Shmat Marv, not Ashray, nothing. No, no, no. That's not Tashlum. The question is, if you miss Shacharis, how long until when can you make up, not make up? What is the time zone of Sukkot Zimra, Yishtabach, Abach, Mishra, Biava? When is the time zone for that? But let's say it's five in the afternoon and you miss Shimon Esrei, so you want to make up Shimon Tashlum. You have a separate Shaila. Can you still say Berchas Shacha? Can I still say Abach, Mishra, Biava? That's a separate Shaila. But unrelated to Tashlum. Most of it I hear saying so late in the afternoon. That's really not so passionate. But that's not all Tashlumen. That's just a question of is it still this man? You hear what I'm saying? Tashlumen is one Esra. That's what, what about? about. Halal so is all day. That Halal still is all day. And Musaf is all day. Ha- yeah. 
Yeah, so Halal Musa, this man is all day, but that's not Tashlumen. You hear what I'm saying? There's two separate things. Well, uh, one someone dams by himself or herself, they'll do, and they they, they dive into, it's late already. You do mincha first because that's tadia, and then musaf. If it's a whole tzibur that ran late, we don't switch the order around. It's too confusing. Yeah, like candles. We forget to light candles one shabbos. I know it's known. I mean, I hope this is correct. Right. The next shabbos you light an extra. Correct. Candle. Correct. But what? What's the? So that's not tashlumin. That? That's a kenas, a penalty. That hey, don't do that again, and because. You, yeah. yeah, so that's that's more no, but she's asking, is that a tashlumen thing? Because we see that you can make it up. It's not really make it up as much as a penalty. Yeah, that's how it's set up. Yeah. Right, so, no, so since you didn't daven, so we have to have part two about tashlumen because how does it work? I'm making up a daven that I'm, I missed. How does it well, Friday, I missed Friday mincha. And then Friday night, I'm dominating. So that that will be part two of the next week. Okay. And what do you want to ask? Uh, but I don't understand. But what's the story with Yala Biyabo? You davened Mincha, you forgot Yala Biyabo. So you so what happens at night? You say Shmona Esri again without Yala Biyabo? Or you don't say Shmona Esri again? The same Shmona Esri. And we're going to talk in part two next week how that works. You do the same Shmona Esri. And if I miss Shmona Esri totally at Mincha, then this is a makeup. And if I, yeah. my Shmona Esri stands, so this is an Adava. But so I say it again, but without Yala Viyavo? Exactly. Yeah. But why and do you say important. it again if you already davened it? It's just a Yala Viyavo that you forgot. I didn't daven according to that opinion. I didn't daven. It's as if I didn't daven according to the Chachmik Mensa. But we'll talk uh -huh. more about the structure of Tashub and how it works, Mr. Shem, part two. Okay. 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 Take Thank care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.